this is a toaster. And um, we're going to try to make it fly. Want some? The greatest art teacher I ever had had a running joke about flying toasters that I don't actually remember. But I remember it was hilarious, so we're going to try to make this toaster fly. So, I started out uh, wanting to make a, like, a remote control plane or something, and then I realized that was dumb because this is a heavy ass toaster, and it's not going to be able to fly with wings. So then I looked into uh, quadcopters and everything, and I was like, well, that's pretty good. These are all the like wood parts. I'm gonna make the arms out of this and some other support structures with the L brackets. My biggest concern is that it's gonna be too heavy and it's gonna fly, it's either not gonna fly or it's gonna fly for an incredibly short amount of time, which would be disappointing because that means we can't get our toast to fly as far. Let's go do some cash. So the idea for this design is to have uh, these arms sticking out, held up by L brackets, and then um, have all the electronics um, in this little undercarriage. Um, so this is the plywood for the arms. Um, I have these little angles cut so I can use the L brackets to connect it like that. So it'll be at an angle out. Um, I'll probably have to cut this with like a scroll saw at school. I have this digital scale and I'm basically going to weigh all the components, uh, including the electronics and all the structural stuff and the toaster, to just see what the thrust to weight ratio is. Uh, my estimation, or my, my estimate? My estimate is that uh, it will be like 2.6 kilograms of thrust and then about like 1200, uh, 1200 grams of weight. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna weigh all the components and do the calculations.
All right, I'm gonna plug it in just to make sure it doesn't like explode. So, uh, obviously the toaster did not just explode spontaneously. However, that stupid bit actually kind of illustrates an important point about toasters. <laughs> They're really scary. Uh, that, that specific toaster runs on like 100 volts AC, <coughs> AC current. And, uh, well, let's just say that's enough to stop my heart. So, hell no, I'm not going to, like, go in there and modify it so it can, f so it can uh, actually toast in flight. My plan is just to toast stuff on the ground, and then put on the undercarriage with the electronics and fly it around. So in its current state, the toaster cannot fly for more than like 30 seconds. Can't really get out of ground effect. Um, it has nothing to do with propellers, it's just that I'm running a 3 cell battery. So I'm going to up the voltage to 4 cells, and um, but I'm going to have to find a way to fit it onto the toaster. It won't fit into the undercarriage because it's um, got an extra cell of course. So um, I could either strap it to the side and then extend the battery cable down into the undercarriage or I could, <laughs> could put it into the actual toaster. Of course I would not put the borderline explosive lipo battery into the toaster when it's toasting. I'm just, that might be a good place to store it while in flight.
Thank <laughs> you.